Today we're going to do traditional Maltese swordfish. Hi guys, Englishman and Malta here. Today I'm going to do some traditional Maltese swordfish. But not the traditional way, as Maltese people fry their swordfish. I'm going to steam it and take two nice steaks of swordfish, prepare it with mixed herbs. I'm using Italian mixed herbs, but you can use any mixed herbs. A nice spicy mix. Important for the recipe, Maltese love these olives and capers. We'll do that when we've put them in the foil. And we use some fresh cherry tomatoes. So, let me get my other chopping board. We make a pouch out of foil. The fifth time we're going to steam it. Put the swordfish, fill it in, some capers, olives, fresh mint, and fresh basil. And I like to put some onions on the top. And of course with some garlic and a little bit of ginger. What's really important for Morty's cooking, a lovely glass of wine. Goes up. Lovely. So we use a cherry tomato. Just use a cherry tomato, slice it in half. An important lemon. Uh, sometimes put a little bit of wine in helps keep the fish the fish so it doesn't dry, dry out too quickly the fish. You crimp the edges, close the sides. And put it into a oven proof dish obviously. So we do the same to the other one. Capers, little bit of onion, ginger and garlic. Cherry tomato. Mint and basil. salad and I made up a, a starter of caponata. It's very easy to make. Tomato puree, onion, aubergine, 
uh, little bits of tomatoes in there. And I'm going to add olives and capers and red peppers with uh, the salad. Just a very simple salad. Uh, cherry tomatoes, sliced carrots, a mixture from the garden, um, mints, basil, chives and some mixed herbs. So really all I do is put this caponata that I mixed earlier. It's got a nice sauce with it, a little bit of wine in there. Now you reminded me. I have a glass while we're waiting. I put it in for about 15-20 minutes the fish and it's almost ready. So I put the peppers in with the caponata that I mixed earlier chives and olives, give it a mix up and it's ready that one. The salad as I said, carrots, cherry tomatoes, this mixed uh, fresh basil, fresh mint and chives and I like to put a little bit of dried herbs in, gives it that little bit and of course, salt and pepper. And then I've got, I bought this um, this week. It's a product extra virgin olive oil with rosemary in it. I'm going to put good help because in the Mediterranean we love olive oil. I know I'm an Englishman, but I think a little bit of the Mediterranean is rubbed off on me now. Give it a mix up. Um, I forgot, I'm going to put some balsamic vinegar inside there. Gives it a little bit extra. Makes an extra taste in there. So that was ready. My mixture of caponata. Mix salad. And then we put the croutons in the salad. So when you're having the salad, it's nice to have that little bit extra crunch. I have to put this because the oven very hot. Uh, we'll try the fish now. Oh, it smells beautiful. As I said to you, um, swordfish in Malta is very popular, but they like to fry it with um, onions and potatoes. Let me try this one. It smells beautiful, guys. Mmm, very, very nice. I want to give a shout out to T. Roy Cooks over in the States. I'll leave a link below. I've been watching his links, he's got some great barbecue ideas. Follow him, eh? Till next time, give it in the comments if you like this of the cooking. I might do some more. And don't forget, thumbs up. See you next time. English Man in Water. Bye. Mara honesta, kinet lesta, bist mur in festa, shara tuile.